Hello and welcome back to the channel. Earlier this month I did uh, best sales for July and I did it mid-month because I was really doing well with sales and I thought well there's no way I'm going to be able to do a whole load at the end of the month because normally I like to do my top 10 but wouldn't you know it the first couple of weeks were probably the best I ever had but that's not to say I haven't had some great sales since then. So, kind of as promised really, I'm going to do a sort of completion um, of sales for July. So this is the 10 bestish sales in the last couple of weeks of July. So we're going to go through them one by one. Uh, they'll be increasing in value. Um, July has been a really, really good month. I don't quite know why it was. At the start of lockdown, I had really strong sales. And then after a couple of months, they dipped a bit and they seem to have taken off again. Um, I had my highest value sale, which was a £350 sale. I think that's my highest ever. Um, but of course the worry is that those large sales always drop off, so you always kind of think, how can I maintain it? Uh, so it's quite, oh, you know, you, you're kind of on the, on the hamster wheel a little bit. But let's get on and let's start going through them. Now hopefully I should be able to shrink myself down. There I go. I have been shrunk. So this first one, this is all part of a massive bundle of media I got. It was a great big box full of the stuff. Um, and I probably got it at least two years ago. And some of it sold really quickly, really, you know, really fast. And I've still got bits hanging around. Um, now this doesn't look like a fabulous price, but I mean, it's good price. But the fact was it went to the States. So there was 23 packs pounds postage on top of this but what I didn't realize was the postage to the US has gone up dramatically so if you do have a sort of postage rates set uh, separately away from GSP do check them out so in total this um, wholesale was uh, around about I think they bought it for 19.99 in the end so it's like a 43 pound sale but like I say I'm just making money um, I, I bought a whole load for a tenner, so I'm well, well, well in profit. So it's just extra money uh, in the bank. So that's the first one. Next one. Next two, actually, are two things that didn't work. Um, this one, it's got a mini disc player. And usually I find that the mini disc doesn't work. But in this one, the tape didn't work. And... I can normally repair a tape if it's the drive belts, but in these sort of like mini stack systems, they're quite a job to get into. And this one was a little bit shonky anyway. Um, I think I bought this with the speakers for eight pounds. So something like this, if it's got a mini disc, I found if it's not working, will normally get around about the 30 pound mark, which is still good return if it had been working i think you're talking around about 70 60 70 maybe um and i always tend to sell the speakers separately so i mean this has gone for you know i don't know if it went for 34.99 or whether it went for on and off for 30 but it was certainly around the 30 pound mark and i've sold the uh, speakers separately for 20 quid so on um I've got two of these. One of these cost eight pounds. One of these cost five pounds. I think this was the five pound one, and um, it was got from a local tip shop. So always worth checking your tip shops. I don't tend to get these mini stack systems if they're just CD and tape. I'll always try and get one with a mini disc. So similarly, this one has a mini disc. Nice system this, and again it went for around about thirty pound. But this time. Um, the mini disc wasn't working and it was producing a read error. Uh, I did try and fix it. I tried to get in there and I think I made it worse. But kind of like my view was, well, I'm going to sell it for parts anyway, so I might as well have a go. Had a go, couldn't do it. So again, that one, I think that one was the one I bought for £8 and uh, that went for 30 So again, worth taking a chance on. This next one is uh, a car boot pickup. And it was new in box, absolutely brand spanking new. I've never sold, it's a car speaker. I've never sold anything like this before. Picked it up from a clearance guy. Um, and I got a load of other stuff with it. I got a couple of Panasonic boom boxes, which didn't work, actually. So I was glad that this did work and sold. 
I think it would have been around about seven or eight pounds. It's difficult to gauge because it was part of a, a whole bundle of stuff. But it's more than paid for everything that I got. And um, I think I'm probably selling the other stuff for parts. Um, so we'll probably make around about £40 on the whole bundle. I would imagine. Maybe maybe more actually. Maybe up to 60 But this, when anything's um, new in box, I mean, it's worth getting because you know it's uh, going to be okay. Sold a couple of these Logitech joysticks. I don't quite know why this is in here because I did sort this by value and I sold one by um, a boxed one as well for more money. Um, but these always sell and generally I picked up one the other day for about two or three quid. They're easy to test. It's just a USB um, plug that goes can go into your computer and if you go into um, device manager you can press all the buttons and you see a little red light you know light up indicating that the uh, the joystick's working um, but I've never had one that doesn't work uh, I tend to get quite a few PlayStation controllers that don't work but uh, stuff like this is normally quite well looked after and it'll always get that price might have to wait a little bit but 26 99 for an unbox one it's kind of my standard price probably up to about 30 if it's boxed but yeah, one of my um, sort of mainstays of uh, things I pick up would be uh, Logitech. Uh, I forget what they're called, 3000D joysticks or something. Can't quite remember. I think the one I've I've picked up recently is down in the shed. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, here we go. Extreme 3D. It's got it written on there. So yeah, great pickup. Clothing items. Now I I'm not great on clothing um, but this one I, I did notice that wet look jackets uh, especially if they're Adidas or something like that some sort of vintage do sell extremely well um, this was listed for quite a few months um, but I was holding out on the price didn't want it to go cheap and uh, I think it got the price I would have bought it I think it might have been a charity shop pickup I can't quite remember but I wouldn't have paid more than the fiver for it. I doubt it was a jumble sale pickup. I'd be very surprised. So it was either charity shop or car boot. But yeah, nice, nice style jacket, Adidas jacket. I think I've put it on my my um, mannequin. It's a female mannequin, but I've, either I've used it the right way around and you can't sort of notice it because it's a jacket, or I've put it back to front so it's kind of like flat chested, as it were. Although, I suppose it doesn't need to be flat chested. No problem with showing it with not being flat chested. What am I talking about? <laughs> Let's get on to the next one. Um, I've sold these a few times before and not always got this price. So I'm sure I've sold this previously for maybe around about the £50 mark. But I saw someone was getting you know, up in the 90s, 80s, 90s, and I thought, well, let's give it a go. And yeah you can get 90 quid if you get these um, I've sold the Daleks as well not as much on the Daleks uh, I think it depends on the colour of the Dalek but um, probably sold maybe about 10 of the Daleks um, over the last few years but if you are testing them do make sure you've got brand new batteries or batteries you're sure have got a, um, a good amount of charge in them because otherwise you, if your batteries are a little bit shonky um, it may not be sending the signal and you may think it's broken but yeah that one worked fine nice little thing nice little retro thing I remember K9 from when he was in Doctor Who um, so it's obviously 40 year olds 40 year old men probably buying it and getting a bit of nostalgia but yeah good condition thing nice little item things to watch out on these like these antenna at the top can be broken and if you're getting um, a Dalek uh, the bits, if you are getting it and it's not complete, try and get it with the eyepiece because they sell well separately and the lights here, here. So if I saw one that was broken and the guns were broken here and here but it still had the eyepiece and it still had the lights, um, I'd, pick it up, I'd pick it up if it was under a fiver because you can sell them separately. Um, these aren't in order of price at all, I don't know what's going on, but never mind. 
Um, here's a fairly recent sale actually and this was from Mr. Ten Pounds. Now Mr. Ten Pounds will sell you absolutely anything in the world like from like a pen to um, I think I said a bar of gold before. They sell you a bar of gold but everything's you know it's always a tenner. You ask him any of the price of the things on his stall ten pounds ten pounds ten there's no bartering with him anyway so i'll pick these up nice little bag in them and he told me he had another set which were completely beat up and not in a bag and they were also ten pounds so i got the good set obviously um there's a lot of interest in these um i know rummage around as um i keep mentioning rummage around i've got to stop it now because he has got two thousand subs so i don't need to ever mention his name ever again but he has got some bowls um and Peter Ray is actually into bowling, so uh, he, he knows a little about bowls. Um, I was a little bit worried about sending them, but not too bad on Hermes. He's under 10k uh, kilograms. So, you know, I just whacked £10 postage on that. And that's gone from £10 to £70. Thank you very much. I think I might have taken 64.99. I did, actually. I know I did. So 64.99 on those. I packed them just in the bag. Um, I don't think I wrapped them individually yet. I put some cardboard dividers between the balls and that's about all I did and then I put them in the bag and I, I put the bag in bubble wrap a couple of wraps around with that and uh, then put it in a box with void filler but that's all I did on that one next one now, I thought this would fly out it's a Betamax camcorder heavy as anything it was about 19 kilograms I bought it for either five or seven pounds at a boot fair probably about four years ago and it has not sold it didn't work okay power went to it um, but the eject wasn't working for some reason I don't think I was doing anything wrong but I thought even even in that state because it, it, it looked absolutely mint but you know it had everything with it and I thought this is going to fly out at like I think I had it on for like probably 100 quid to start with but it didn't didn't go and I think I, I slowly been lowering it month on month and it got to 40 quid and I thought well I'm not going to let it go for under 40 quid and actual fact the postage is pretty low on it I'm sure I sent it UPS and it cost for tw for up to 20 kilograms it was about £7.50 or something like that in the end I was just glad to get rid of it because I kept tripping over of it when I was walking around but it's one of those items that I thought would really I've, I've got a Sony Betamax recorder again for parts only which is weighs a ton and that's just stuck in a garage at the moment not doing anything so in the end a little bit disappointed with the price but glad that it's gone I mean you know five pound to 40 pound in the end over four years it took a long time but you know good to get it shifted and the last one, now of course in the first half of the month I think I had a £350 sale and quite a few, 150 180 So this is the only one over 100 in the last couple of weeks, but it is a £210 sale. And it is a huge bundle of Power Miners Lego. Not the best photo in the world actually. This is before I changed my photo setup. You can see the unironed cloth there. But it was a whole bunch of sets. There's, look, there's a massive set over there and there's some little sets, some medium sized sets. And I've got I've got loads of Lego and this is one of the things I was sorting out during lockdown. And um, I think I was getting too kind of obsessed with trying to get it absolutely complete. So this is very much complete, but there were maybe, so I've sort of said vehicles are almost 100% complete with only a few bits missing. I'm talking like three or four bits, honestly, in, the, in these kits. I can give further details if required they didn't ask for it to be required and then i've said there's also like a bunch of minifigures you know that includes i think it was 20 minifigures or something like that um so it gives a good explanation of what everything is um, some minifigures may have different heads includes a total of eight minifigures 14 small rock monsters and two large rock monsters and the rare eruptor monster whatever that means but it is a rare figure in there so that went 210 for 210 it went to spain via gsp um took quite a long time to pack it up because it was i'd listed it and put it away kind of made up um so i had to break it all down 
put it in bags, make it look very nice, and then, you know, I wrapped the whole lot in bubble wrap, and then that went in a box with void filler. And uh, Hermes it off to... Um, did I Hermes it? I may well have UPSed it, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I got it off to the GSP centre, so whoever's bought it at GSP has spent a lot of money on this. Huge amount of money. But there we go, I hope they're happy. I haven't had feedback yet, but let's, uh, fingers crossed, it's all alright. So that is the last one, and that takes me to the end of July. Let me just see if I can do this and this. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a really, really good month. I've been over kind of like my 31 days has been well over 3,000 for quite a while, which is 3,000 is always, when I started reselling, it was the figure that I wanted consistently. And, of course, sometimes it goes way above that. You know, around quarter four, I've had above that, and I've had... Way below that, way, way below. We don't want to talk about those days. So it's it's good that kind of in mid year I'm I'm kind of hitting above that. Um, but of course the trick is to maintain it, and um, it's always difficult. That is when you see those big, you know, your your graph and your big days about to fall off. If you've had a couple of you know zero days, and I have had zero days, and you see I'm off going to have that 350 day drop off. But you can't do anything about that. All you can do is kind of keep sourcing and um, keep listing and the regular listing should get you some sales um, if you've got any questions on any of that do let me know put it in the comments below um, if you like that sort of thing stick a thumbs up I was going to do another haul video today but I thought you know the world and his wife are going to be doing haul videos on Sunday so I did go to a boot fest today went down the A3 um, and I was going to go to another one but decided to come home instead and kind of relax a little bit I've got a bits of packing to do so i'll probably go through what i got in the a3 sometime midweek maybe tuesday tuesday or wednesday something like that but for now that's all from me i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and take care and i'll see you soon